Boys, we do have a policy of no hat, no play, and I love that you're out here, but you can get off now. Sorry, um, that was uh, obviously another interruption. Uh, thank you for, um, I mean, wait, hold on. Yes, welcome to Vlog 8. Um, or 7, I don't even know. I'm just going to call it 8, because, you know, I'm Irish in my work. But, no, that's fine. Because, um, ah, bloody hell, these people are throwing esophaguses in the aquarium. I don't know what they're doing. Sorry, um, there are just some people in the background of, uh, of my, uh, of my neighbourhood who, uh, who have this aquarium. And they do like to chuck vomit in it, which is very difficult for the cleaners because they've already got enough work to do with their, you know, I suppose they are astronomical bastards, are they not? But no, good on them. Um, yes. So, before I did start, I did want to uh, shout out to Razzlers, who is a brilliant child, and also to Jackson Yeah, both of whom um, I would like to quote. Uh, give them a quote as a present. Now, this quote is fantastic. It's from my father, who always told me to eat. And that is the quote. And I do hope that you remember that uh, in your life. When you are going for a job interview, just remember that eat and the distribution of cheese has changed so much throughout time and the pie charts are being chucked around as the shovels are also being chucked at the windmills in the afternoon. But good on him. Um, <clears throat> yes, um, I do hope that we don't get any door knockers because last week we had... Oh, bloody hell's a door knocker. Oh, well, we'll just see what he wants. Um... Yes, we do. It's very rare we get visitors here, you know. I'm not. Uh, hopefully, I don't get banned from the police department. Of course, we do have zookeepers. Oh, I'll just open the door. Ah, uh, yes, how are you today? Um, yes, uh, I'm fine. How are you? And, um, uh, sorry, uh, there is actually a personal space line there, and, you know, you're crossing it. And so I would like you to just sort of step back if you don't mind, or I will have to assault you with a ruler. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sir. Um, I would just, uh, uh, just wondering if you would like to spend a few minutes of your time. Um, I would, was wondering if you would like to buy a dictionary office. And, uh, you know, a free encyclopedia will come with that if you have potting mix. Because we do need potting mix, because, you know, we do have pretzels in our shop now, which uh, I'm sure you would like to donate one of your organs for the fact that we are actually a foundation of monkeys, and also uh, also the Heart Foundation, which I love. And I am a representative. Uh, sorry, but um, unfortunately, unless you do have a badge of officiality, I can only assume that you are a blowfish. And uh, unfortunately, because of that, my mother did always tell me to uh, kill strangers because they are tattered aphidionic. Which, uh, I don't know what that means. I think it means that they have tonics in their ass. But anyway, um, I would just like to... Uh, uh, are you saying that I'm not representative of the five uh, qualities of duck? Are you telling me that I'm an operationalised hypothesis in my work? Uh, well, actually, I'm merely saying that you are... One, you're crossing the line of, pr of personal space... Two, you're interrupting the show and the vlog. And three, you are in fact a blowfish of tattered aphidionic proportions, which I do find that, uh, you know, Muhammad Ali, he was fantastic in his work. And uh, what that actually implied was... <laughs> yes, sorry. Um, but no. Yeah, sorry, sir, but if you think you can uh, have a random fit on stage, then I do think that you are, in fact... Listen, you are not pissing off, and because of that fact, I would like to actually show you how to destruct your esophagus in a way that is in accordance with the barbecue that we are having on Sunday! Ah! Yes, sorry about that, that bastard. He was a little prick, was he not? And you're, you're, a, geolo you're a bloody geologist, mate. You're, you're going to go and fringer! But no, um, yes, um... Very much like last week when that bloody Teletubby was to go and fly off stage and still interrupt the show from down there when he was ye yelling out and I was to, you know, uh, look you're eating sort of thing. But anyway, um, yes. I did also want to uh, introduce you to my Irish friend who is in fact sure, sure, sure. And uh, here he is. Now, a sure, sure, sure is in fact a sure, sure, sure. And uh, because of that, he's a sheriff in the, in the, in the violent regions of nowhere. But no. Um, yes, yeah, you're a cyborg, are you not? And, uh, he does pirate many DVDs in his spare time. But, um, yes. I uh, first of all, I would like to do a little dance for you. Which... <laughs> yeah, so, uh, thank you very much for uh, listening to that. But uh, I do have a very similar voice to the, the dog over there. And because of that, uh, I would like to shout out to my friend Porphyrinim Porphyrins, who is in hospital. And I would like to tell you that there is gold at the end of the rainbow, my friend. There is hope for you yet. And although your disease may have qualities that do affect uh, the robotics of the engineering system in the water fountain that I probably have thrown out with the cauliflower in the garbage, speaking of which I should probably go and tend to the fact that it is sitting in the oven and... Oh, I'm sorry, there's the door. I'll just, I'll just go and get it. Yeah, it's very rare that we have visitors here. I mean, it's not... 
Um, hello, my name is Miss Piggy, and I was wondering if you would like to adopt a child from our foundation, which is also known as the, as the, uh, as secta.com.au, and, uh, if you do want to, uh, donate to the sewerage pipes, I would like you to kill the workers' quarters inside the Grundy Industries, which is, uh, fantastic, because, um... Before I do distract the, the only environment that is left inside my accordion, um... I would just like to show you how many angels can destroy the Hamlet production that is darkness and... Yes, sorry about that interruption. Um, of course it... Yeah, um, sorry, that was very uh, a bit of an interruption to the show. Look, who is doing that? I will, listen, my solicitor, my solicitor ha actually has a degree in marketing, and because of that, I will get him to go to the market and, in fact, purchase a mallet, which I will use to, in fact, embed inside your, um, your nails. And spent some clearance, of course. <laughs> no, that was from last week, wasn't it? But now, listen. Oh, okay. Look, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm actually calling my, my, my esophagus on you, and uh, because of that, the prime minister will now come down from heaven in, um, in an attempt to uh, introduce you to the atlas. Ah, oh, that's odd. Very atlas uh, environment we have. No, but anyway, listen, I'm calling my solicitor, my solicitor on you because he actually has a degree in penguins and he has a degree in marketing. And I think that can be used very much in the equation against the, in, against the Lord. And of course the scriptures. Um, yes, every week the scriptures are becoming more and more solidified within, uh, within uh, the environment of the skylarks. And of course they are very lovely birds. But, honestly... One more door knocker and I will poo. Ah, the distribution of cheese. Hello, welcome. So, um, I was wondering if you would like to donate to our foundation. It is, in fact, to do with the tree industry and uh, the fact that there are many trees in our environment and um, the fact that um, we, we also, we're, we're wood cutting. At the moment, oh, are you? Oh, are you? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I would love to donate to your foundation. It's just that you can go away now! <laughs> yes, sorry, I do very much not uh, love... Um, I do have pudding uh, in my cupboard, and I do actually have a collection of uh, these bloody door knockers in my backyard, because, you know, some of them, they are, they are very polite people, but when you're in a bad mood, it's as if you were to shovel them into the shed. And I do actually have a collection, and I have been collecting them for quite some time now. Now, I would like to introduce you to my father. I think you've already met him, but he's a lovely man, and me and him would like to just sing you a little tune. Uh, once upon a time, there was a couple of drain pipes that went down Monday, Thursday timetables like a train track a singer. Yes, so uh, thank you very much for listening to that. And uh, the Guinness Book of Weka, we that there, there, Records will now throw a lisp inside the spitting uh, avocados that we can be found in Cratch. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for listening to the vlog, and I do hope that you have enjoyed uh, Macarissa's uh, um, pet dog. <laughs>